Okay, we don't play, we here anyway. Welcome to the Burning Miles channel where we speak on everything. We speak on stars, we speak on movies, we speak on shows, and we play games. We do it all, man. You're, you, you're at the channel. This is the spot to be in. Now, Black China had to give up three of her cars and is saying that she is going broke, bankrupt, and she is getting no support. She calls out Rob Kardashian and Tyga and claims she is not getting any support for her kids. Hmm. Well, Tyga and Rob Kardashian put out how much they're paying for the kids' school, the fact that they cover all of their health care, and on top of that, they have the kids for most of the week. She doesn't even have them. Wait, <laughs> so um, each child's father has the kids majority yeah, of the time? I believe Rob Kardashian, don't quote me on this all the way. Someone commented at the bottom what it is. He said he has his kids from Tuesday to Saturday. And that's the same for Tiger. Tiger has a similar type of situation. So basically they're more primary custodial parent. Than nah, I was there. They're joint. They're drawing. But they, I mean, it's seven days in a week. So if he has them for five for days. Tuesday, uh, you know, Tuesday, Tuesday Wednesday, Saturday, Thursday. Saturday, so that's Sunday, Monday. So that's Friday, two days she Saturday, would have. four days. Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday Saturday. Saturday. That's four days. Four out of seven. Wait, Tuesday, Wednesday, you Thursday, Friday, it. Saturday. That's five days. Oh, okay. Well, if this if this is <laughs> correct, I mean, you counted it and came up with four. So you no, like, no, you said four, and I kind of had to double check and make either sure. Either way, y'all ain't paying her. She wants some money, bro. So you're siding with her. Yeah. Oh, child, bro. Let me tell you something. When you know guy and you try to do better and <laughs> most people are like, whatever, y'all don't want to give up the money. They're paying for the school. Okay. And their private school for these kids who I believe are under 10 years old is 40,000 a year. Mm. Rob Kardashian's paying 37 mm -hmm. and um Tiger's paying 40 grand a year to the school tuition. Why, all, why Rob paying less? That he asked that too. He said, "You paying four thousand less than me? Give me the plug." Like you want to know <laughs> <laughs> how you doing that? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> like, wait a minute now. But um, he's also Rob went on to say, and I'm assuming this for both of them. But Rob went on to say he covers all medical costs. He covers all field trips. Mm. He covers everything with the school. I mean, that's usually the dynamic anyway. That the father will, if, especially if they don't live in the house together, that the Mother, we usually want, you know, for extracurricular mm -hmm. activities, daycare, things like that. The yeah. accessories that. Right, but they're not paying her. See, okay. that's oh, the thing. Okay. She's not getting the money. It's going to that. She's not getting any money. Oh, so she's. So, oh, so what you're saying. So she's saying, <laughs> I get no support, but it's like. Meaning her as an adult. Yeah, like the check ain't coming to me. That's what she want to know. <laughs> girl, you better stop. Yeah, you need to send the money down the counter. Like, you, you send girl, that shit somewhere else. Girl, they missed all that. She. <laughs> They don't do that no more. They these, definitely do that. These men are not, they're not going for it no more. Like, they're just, they're fighting back and they're speaking up and they're showing up. The I, the one that, to me, I think we, that did it the correct way and should be honored in that way is Ludacris. He did it, like, Ludacris, Cat Williams, these are men that did it the right way and did not fall into the cycle of the um, systematic and stigma of being a deadbeat father you mm -hmm. know and so if tyga and rob kardashian took to social media the same way they she responded did, to a message she reposted yeah so she put out a public post and they responded to it yeah see i i um kudos to those gentlemen um because the truth is they they're looking at it in the long run meaning if she was to showcase this to the children mm -hmm. they can say that is not the truth and they stood their ground and spoke up so a uh, hand clap to them i absolutely think um you know that's exactly how you should handle it if you want to put out um basically half truths or you want to lie but, or but, something like but, that but, but but remy cost like remy uh, cost. but the babies don't wear remy but she wears remy what they got to do with the baby? You should want your baby mama to be fresh and in the that's street. the problem. See, miss my thing. How's she going to pay her rent? Well. If you getting all the money to the education. But like, here's. What, they, what, what she wants to happen is scrap the education. Give me the 40 grand a kid. But the reason why. Okay. So let's look at it. <laughs> let's look at this. Answer that. Simply. Mm -hmm. Let's do the math. The okay. kids stay with them five days a week. Okay. So technically, they're the ones that are would be considerably primary because they're staying there majority of the week. Now, if you don't have them, 
both your kids for majority of the week, meaning the five days, you know, y'all, Jack, what, what do your weave and your support have to do with if the kids are not even in your custody? This, see, this goes to, I give you a case in point. But when, she said she's a single mother doing stop. it on her own. False when life. kids, okay, so when kids go to the father for, let's say, like, the summertime, the child support does not stop coming when the child is carted over to the father's custody and he has to continue paying child support. He has to pay for the child being there. Mm -hmm. He has to pay for uh, the extracurricular activities again, while still paying his payment to the mother, even though the the child is physically not there. That's called being a man. Got it. That's fine. So what they did that I think was something she can get with, they got petty (laughs) and went online I said, you, what are you talking about? I take care of my kids. You lying. And they're like, I'm. But I don't get no support, but we're paying their education. But I'm not getting a well, check for my rent and my hair. But my isn't car. that. She had to give up three of her cars. Why don't you, hold, 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 real quick, real quick, real quick. Look at it from her point of view. Okay. Three of the Roddy's had to go back, baby. Okay. How do kids go get back to school if I don't have three cars around me? I mean, so you need three cars to take care of your kids two days out the week? Because they got them the other five days. I'm confused. It's two and a half. One of those. Okay, I'm just saying, I didn't know you need three cards. I didn't know you need three cars. But she's just showing how she's by herself, and she's doing everything on her own, bossing up. And she had to choose between her kids and those cars. She chose her cars because she's a mother first. Yeah, that's going to be a no for me. I just, I, I'm looking at it as I'm not being – I'm being neutral. You don't need three vehicles to take your kids where they have to go when you have them for only two days out the week. So I think that's a little excessive. I'm just I'm, – I'm, I'm being neutral. I'm not even like – I'm not on anyone's side. I'm just looking at math says, you know, they would need three cars because they have them five days – so if they took one car per day, Tiger they're still like fifteen cars. Oh well, then he's covered. But so see, he should want his kids to have ten cars. I mean, but that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, <laughs> I'm hitting her with all the basic chicks. Right? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I'm looking at it as if I was to tell her, if I would say, China, here's the thing: you're actually winning because you don't have your kids like that, and like you're still not being called a deadbeat mom. So I think you should. You shouldn't make waves and but ripples. All the other friends she got got kids, and they getting thirty thousand a month. Yeah, but see, they they play the field right. Yeah, they got the kids. Too. See, I think out of everyone, she should have stayed with Rob because Rob has money, and he's not in the public eye yeah, as he much has as a Tiger. family wealth. Yeah, so she should have just like, but I mean, you know, to each his own. I mean, if I had to pick the two, like if I was in her shoes, yeah, I would definitely would go Rob. Absolutely, I mean. Definitely. Because, I mean. Tiger's cool people because he's, he's still making his payments. So. Yeah, Tiger reminds me of, like, Wiz Khalifa. Like, yeah, he's, he's, he's really he's cool, cool involved and all in all his that, child's but life. And he stuff. got that Kardashian money. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So, yeah, I mean, so that's a whole different. I'd have been at the crib on yeah, the show. Like, yeah. like I, she messed up a whole show situation. I, I'd have been yeah. over there on the show. Yeah. And I definitely would have gave him more than one. He would have had my four of them things. Yeah. And but, then, I mean, yeah. you didn't you didn't do your pimping right. And now you're sitting here. Your, you know, whatever your walkthroughs is slowing down. You was just expecting to jump on the next rapper. The new wave of rappers like the baby and them are not buying what you're selling. Yeah. You're running out of money. Yeah. And the truth is you're getting money, but you're you're not able to keep up the lifestyle. You need to back the lifestyle up a little bit. Like yeah. I said, move out of uh, out of Calabasas, go down to Pasadena. Well, you know, uh women don't want to admit this. And I'm a person that you know, was enamored with the glamour of what a woman should have and the upkeep and what the expectation should be in a relationship. And the thing that I always came to the conclusion was it's maintenance. Maintenance costs money on both ends. So if we were to attribute it to a man, you know, that nice car that you like, you know, the Corvette, Mm -hmm. you know, that's why men get so schizophrenic if someone, like, hits their car or something like that because the wheel bearings on that thing is expensive expensive, or you know a headlight goes out and so I equate that to the upkeep of a woman in order for her to keep catching fish right for her Mm. to keep baiting these men there's an upkeep bill you know Beyonce said the best she said I have expensive habits and what that means is I my expensive habit is I have the affordability to have the habit in the first place y'all don't have that your Mm. your habits are going to have to 
Uh oh. Yeah, you look. You, you out here. You're looking poor. Like that, that's <laughs> that's the. You're going broke. I mean, Ooh. you gotta you gotta, you gotta put that va- vagina on a stick and sling it on that to get you another young or boy or something you're like You're gonna that. have to uh, discount it. You're gonna have to get a little creative. Yeah, um, I mean, there's nothing wrong with the C class Mercedes. There's nothing yeah, wrong. Yeah, don't be shamed. Yeah, get the C class Mercedes. Tell them to put like the kit on it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So it look fresh. Uh, thirty inch weave. Can we do twenty inch? Can I know. we bring it down? Yeah, right. C- does it have to be Malaysian? Can it be Cablasian? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we know. get some Cablasian weave? Yeah. Like she from America, but her grandmama was from Cablasian. <laughs> Can we do that? Or how about you get fashion deals so you don't have to buy your own clothes? Or, or you could just get a legitimate job. Like, and what I mean, well, a legi- that, that's not going to happen. Wait, no, no. Hear me out. A legitimate job, meaning you have what you call life experience and you, your industry knowledge could be useful. Right. And, and it's definitely trendy. So you should be like a show host. You should be collaborating. Yeah, we don't know how good she talks. Have you ever heard her talk? No, but I'm just, I mean, I know she's educated. So my understanding is she went to Johnson and Wells. She has her culinary degree um i i i you know i just think that she has to understand that time has caught up and it's now starting and them only fans checked on style yeah it's time to maybe start taking your um experience in life and your talent yeah. and put it into something that can generate passive income um yeah like you need to run a youtube like yeah you, like get a YouTube you, you channel, already yeah. have to start doing interviews queen talk because isn't interviews. that like what like Sweetie and them is doing. They have like Sweetie has like the icy out university where Sweetie, you know, Nicki, Nicki Minaj, Minaj yeah. all the rappers, uh, Nori, Drink Champs. Yeah. Like you gonna have to get. It's not as simple as just doing one thing and living on it, bro. Yeah. And another thing too, you're getting dudes, but you're not keeping them. So my thing is, you getting a baby out of them, well, that'll be enough. Obviously, that is not enough to keep your lifestyle. You need yeah. to do a couple years married, and you can get you know some money coming to you. You out here. It ain't, it ain't, that light skin is only going to take you so far. And, I mean, she's like 33 now. You're old. Yeah. And these new rappers are not trying to date aunties, bro. And a lot of these new girls, believe it or not, are not trying to have babies to keep no guy. Right. Collar ain't none of them. Yeah, they're trying to keep their figure because they understand the longevity of it. So They also have a talent, too. She doesn't have a talent. She doesn't do entertainment. Well, that's why I said I was like, you know, her best bet is to kind of do something where she's speaking on you know back in the day stuff you know like I, I feel like like her Roxy Brown Lil Kim should all like get together <laughs> and do That's like way before her time I'm just saying like I'm just I mean I'm not being facetious I, I feel like we should definitely speak on the good side of things and the Let's good side is this you have your child has access to a family where she'll be taken care of both of your children actually they are accessible and within reach of men that have pretty decent futures, mm-hmm. good money, and the children be taken care of. It's I would assume it's time for you to work on yourself, mm-hmm. work on what you can do, because the kids are getting older, so it's not yeah. like they're infants, and do what you need to do to make sure you're taken care of and you're not out here looking crazy, saying crazy things. I mean, listen, yeah, you got to sell that butt. I ain't. Now you need to go out here. That's clean. I don't use a cuss word. I'm just. She doesn't have to sell. She got to sell butt. No, she doesn't. Like, go out there and sell your butt. <laughs> like doesn't. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Why are you acting different? You sold your butt the first two times. Why are you so above selling your butt now? Because this is the seal. The season of healing. How you healing? But you giving back the cars. Like I'm glad. No, no. Sell that butt. You need to get out there. Get you cook you another fish. Yeah. You know, uh, and, 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 and do your thing, go and be a housewife or something. You need to do something like that because yeah. I've never heard this woman say a word. I mean, I've heard it. Like, I've seen her, like, on Wild and Out. She was on Wild and Out. So when I say something like, <laughs> I never heard a woman say a word, and the publication you come out with is Wild and Out, <laughs> just say, yeah, i never seen her say a word. <laughs> just pick her. Okay. She's never said a word. <sighs> She's never published nothing from her that she can come back and get royalties off of. She's yeah. not a rap. She's never rapped, if my understanding. Yeah. She's never acted. Yeah. She just pretty much hoochie mama. Yeah, she I, okay did it well, but I mean, I'm a I'm gonna say that she needs to collaborate with women that made pivotal changes from 
you know, these imaginary roles and lifestyle they mm-hmm. created for themselves. Amber so Rose. Blunt, is yeah, Amber Rose. Um, you may have to do a reality show. Uh, what's in it? Like, uh, Superhead. Right. Corinne Steffens. Um, Melissa Ford. Mm-hmm. These are great example of women. And again, highly articulated women. They speak well and they have a bevy of knowledge that is marketable and, and brings money. She, her crew, the people she hanging with ain't, you know, her, the mentors she has in her lives are not telling her, listen, you know, this is not the end She's all probably all. someone you can't tell nothing to. Yeah, I remember her mama saying that. Like, they had like a show and her mom was saying that you know, she's extremely stubborn, but I do, to my understanding, she's also extremely smart. She's not an uneducated woman. Listen, she's just, you know. Education or not, the notice do sell the butt. You got to sell your I smart can. butt. I, listen, you got all the education you want. You don't know how to apply that into getting paid. That don't matter. And then again, that's what I said. The truth is you don't have people around you. And it's actually a good thing that your baby fathers <laughs> spoke up because most would not care. And so yeah, they future spoke, wouldn't even respond to yeah, that. Yeah, so th- what it showed me that they not only care about their children, they care about you. Like they're willing to, you know, interact with you in that way because most men would they just wouldn't care what you say. So right. uh, they like, I like look, I'll give you a couple of dollars <laughs> but you gotta to come to the house to get it. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's just what it is. Listen, uh we're gonna start a charity uh, for her to sell her butt because that's what you, listen, okay. that's what you put most of your work into. You put most of your work into your looks. You put your, most of your work into your looks to, to beef it up to sell it, right? So you need to get back to sell it. I'm confused. I mean, I mean, you were okay with being, being considered a uh, hoochie mama or a whore, whatever they considered you for all these years when them checks was clearing. So and what's what the deal are now? you doing? I mean, we need to get an accountant over there to she, run the been, itemized report. You've been hot for as long as Nicki Minaj, Minaj been hot. That's 11 summers. Yeah. You're supposed to have, like, a couple of laundry mats. You're supposed to have something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, or do something within your degree. Yeah, you got to have a makeup line. So you got to do something, girl. I you, mean, you. Uh, hoochie hot pockets. <laughs> uh, you know, blonde w- blonde weave tiramisu. You're a chef. Like, what are we doing, bro? <laughs> like, like, my thing with this <sighs> is, is, like, this is non-news. Booty clapping ringtones. You got to do something. Yeah. I mean, uh, Rob Kardashian ain't got to do nothing because he's family paid. But yeah. Tiger is still dropping mixtapes, bro. He's and dropping mixtape singles, touring. He's doing what he's supposed to do. And I think that's what happens. She, you know, with Tiger, that's someone that understands, you know, the grind, the hustle. But then you get with someone like Rob, and you start thinking, I mean, why can't I have family yeah, generational wealth? <laughs> you can be light skinned and slap all that blonde hair in your hair all you want to. You got Negro roots with Negro resources behind you, which is nothing. Sell. Your booty. That's, that's where it's coming off to. <laughs> Get married to a Jewish developer or something like yeah, every yeah. like Eve or something. Yeah, Do something like you that. Gotta talk to Eve, yo. She right. got the plug. Right, because you had, <laughs> yeah, Rob. You could have stuck there. Yeah, but you ain't want to do that. You know what yeah. I mean? So my thing is, ha ha. That's how I feel. Like I have no love for raggedy baby mamas. None. Ha <laughs> ha ha. ha. That's what you get. Like, it was all fun and dandy when you was, ah, Tiger, this and that, and Rob, this and that, and everybody. I remember the She Played Rob campaign. Yeah. When they were talking about how dirty she did Rob and yeah. all that. Yeah. Rob still got a band. <laughs> he, he's he's a, man. Oh, he still has access to mama calls. Yes. His calls. <laughs> Mama's sisters, he getting money. He getting money. You <laughs> can't go to your mama's house. <laughs> <laughs> Because she probably don't want you there. In fact, she's asking you for money. Right, right. And she don't want you in the house because you steal. She know you steal. <laughs> <laughs> I just got that mag lip gloss. Like, I don't know what you, bro. Like, Yo, yeah. his, her mom is off the chain, but it's something. I, I like her. I feel like she's a great time. I feel like she's like a person, like, if we all went, like, to the cabaret, it would just be yes, funny. Listen, I'm from Virginia. I don't know what a cabaret is. Yo, people, y'all, tell me if you know what a cabaret yeah. is. It's a place, it's like a room, they rent out a room, people bring their food. Yeah, that's a B.O.B. Not, I mean, well, okay, yes, but at a cabaret, you bring your food, too, so people be making macaroni and cheese, yams, turkey. Potluck. Yeah, it's like a potluck, but then we dancing, you know, we jigging. And so we, where did the word cabaret come from? Y'all to, French. To be honest with you. Y'all don't know. I don't know the y'all origin. just made it up. I don't know the origin. <laughs> it's real, believe it. No, it's not real. <laughs> I've never heard that word before until I started talking to somebody from Philadelphia. <laughs> No, I was at the Capitol Ray. That don't sound so classy. It was. I'd have showed up in my sh- in my suit and got what, beat up. But the funny thing is, everybody do like the old head. They wear their suit. They wear the three piece suit, like with the vest. Let me get this right. If you said Cabaret, I'm thinking 
uh, in my mind, before yeah. I go, I'm thinking Louisiana, uh, 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 what do they call it? Debutante. Yeah, that's kind of what it looked like. So but you telling me, because Philly people lie. Listen, <laughs> you telling me I pull up to this cabaret, I'm not going to be like, this is the ghetto. Well, that you, means yes. You yes. That but means to the yes. people, to the people that know what it is, it's really basically more of an older crowd there. They bring food because they all want. Listen, they're not paying for no drinks, Mm-mm. and they're not paying for no place of food. They got one bottle so of palm So they it. So everyone bring it. You and you buy a table, right? So it's like a twenty seat table. It's about twenty of them tables in there. A dance floor, the band playing, and it's just it's a controlled, it's raggedy, y'all, a controlled you. party. Don't bring your tail to the cabaret by yourself. Love in the name of love. Because them Philly cats will rob you dry. No, it's a good time, bro. Don't listen to the... He, look, look. he got... Okay, then you go to a Philly cabaret. I've been to one. No, no, Go now. Oh, it's probably outdated now. <laughs> <laughs> she don't want to be around her people. You see it? Like, it's probably outdated. <laughs> I don't want to be around them, nigga. I don't, think they, I, don't, I don't think they do it anymore. <laughs> right, right. Hey, I'm a Christian. I I'm just going that. back down memory lane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't going. I'm saying you could go. Someone's gonna say, Yo, they had a cabaret right last week. They did. Sure. Next time we go, we'll be dead. I don't trust it. Listen, first of all, she's what she need to do. Let's come straight from TB, China, Black, Black China. Go down the county, okay? Go down the county. Sell that butt. Now, that's what you need to do. That's what you have. For That's what has been shown to the world. She talking about your, your, your act. I ain't never seen that. All I seen was cheeks. That's it. Matter of fact, let's let's go let's go see what uh you've been putting out into the internet. Can we go look at that? Right, let's just see one of these rando. Oh, I don't know who that is. Let's go see what you've been putting out into the internet. What the, who is that? Man, they got some fake sites out here with your yeah. stuff. Just put in black china. You get a I put it in. Now, this is, these are all the ones that popped up. Okay, but she need a blue check. I'm pretty sure she yeah, has a blue check for her. Anyway. Let me do it. Move. Anyway, this Move. is her butt cheeks. It's not, but she, she could have changed. Good thing. She no, ain't changed she could have changed. Cheeks. She could have changed. She talking about a uh, school cheeks. She could have changed, y'all. Fishnet cheeks. Like I'm, I'm it's, confused. It's, it's, no, that's not. Look fair. at this. That's a bad running suit. I ain't gonna hate her on that. That running suit's dope. Butt cheeks. No, there. That's not fair. How is it not fair? Put up the. Her Let me get this right. So, before we go over here. You think is she going to give you a unified front of some some real stuff? So if we go through the trouble of finding this page and this is what we say, are you going to say I'm wrong? I will say I'm wrong. All right. Because well, I've typed it in three times. This is all that's popped up. Go ahead. Uh, type it in. Go to the search bar. This is called giving the benefit of the doubt, people. There you go. You see it? There you go. Okay. Her kids on there. Oh, China. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. What I need you to do right now is not talk. Don't <laughs> talk. Let's oh, just girl. let's just let's just see what we got. Okay. You know, cause she ain't got no money. What was this last week? She are, are these the cars that she <laughs> referred to? She ain't got no money. That she just uh look, she's broke. Yeah. I think she's more embarrassed than anything that she had to give back the car. She just put it out eight weeks ago, five weeks ago, four weeks ago. Yeah, we call that a lease, darling. That means you <laughs> gave the rental car back. That's not your car in the first place. If it was yours, you can keep it. Yeah. Mm. Oh, my God, bags. Does you think kids' clothes can come back? Mm. Okay. Where are the kids? I've seen one time the kids. <laughs> because you giving it the benefit of the doubt. Cheeks. China, I try to get Oh, she about to drop a track. I ain't no she rapping. We're gonna trap this bitch out to the f- No, that is definitely uh my boy uh Moneybag Yo, so you don't get to do that to my man. <laughs> <laughs> you try to ride the wave. Oh, it's that way even now. Well, that's my home gizzy right there. Mm. Happen. Uh, he called me his baby, his little boozy. I'm like, wipe me down. As soon as I say do it, he get to it. I'm excited. Why? Foreign in this sitting. But you had to get a car back, bro. I'm lost, no. You know what your problem is? You're just unforgiving. Nope, I am because they're unforgiving to us. 
Women are unforgiving to us. I mean, how many times have we talked crap about Tiger when he had to give a car back? He's had to do that. Oh, he did? Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, he's had to give a, a Ferrari or two back. He took it like a G and kept working. Like, <laughs> he took I, it like a man. Yeah, like a man. Make sure this don't get on my credit, all right? That's all you I You mad because you're drunk. Let's go back in, B. What is it going to be? What is it going to be? What is it going to be? I can't like that. You smash and bust it. Why you ain't got no money? That was a collaborative IG post. And that was for oh my gosh. TikTok. Yeah. See, I didn't know she had tracks. Only fans link. 94 mm. weeks ago, they cut that off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, what, that's, what, that's, what, that's where the money was coming from. Yeah. And you know what? We have to stop. We must stop because Big Ack. Big academic said it. He said when they cut them OnlyFans checks off, <laughs> they gonna be screaming broke. And here we are. No, shout out to Railman. There's gonna be a hush a in Jerusalem. Hush in Jerusalem. <laughs> Look at that. Bad picture. I ain't gonna hate on it. Yeah, I ain't no. gonna hate on it. Good matter cheating me. I don't think it's real. Um, but look, look, she doing a thing. Look, I don't know what this is giving. Showing you there's an innocence to it, I bet you it is. Blonde hair, blonde hair. If I wear enough, I'll be white. No, you won't. This is a single mother doing it on her own. Now, this got the blue check. You said I wasn't doing it just because I wasn't on the blue check. This is a blue check. Listen, (laughs) I can admit that I'm wrong. And like I said earlier or prior. And my thing is, this would be no issue. Are they paying you for the shoot? I believe so, but like I said, let's just wrap it up and say nah, she wholeheartedly. Right now, I was on a rope. She wouldn't want to wrap it up. No, no. What I'm saying, as far as in my opinion of all of it, it's just that, you know, she had ample time to secure to secure it to the point where this is not a thing for her to be going through. Because truth is, you're getting older, and having stuff repossessed when you get older is usually frowned upon <laughs> amongst your peers. You know, when you reach, reach a level of maturity, especially – Older people, they'll say, listen, you need to have your stuff in check because you need a car. You know, now having three or four, that's your business. Uh, You know, that's your preference. But the truth is you are in so many opportunities where this should not be a thing that you're going through. And I don't appreciate you bringing my homegirl uh, Asian doll around this mess. I don't like that. (laughs) Because she's young. She's impressionable. she's young. She don't need to be around this broke mess. (laughs) She's young. She's impressionable. No. And yeah. No, don't do that. Don't don't even bring her around that. Next, no, she going broke. (laughs) That's an issue. You know, good and well, you put your foot up. You can't do that. It's all right. <laughs> two, they, like, edited it. It was two different. <laughs> right, right. Now you want to chill with Asian Doll. I thought you were nicking me out before. I don't trust you. Now, Asian Doll, she got pink hair in, but you got blonde hair in. Drugs. Insubordinate <laughs> and churlish. <laughs> Listen, man, we done done. We just want to talk about this. It's ridiculous. This is another baby mama. I had been taking our money for years. Years. Ladies, you got Just to do better. Mean, you had access to a bunch of money. Like she said, start a laundromat. Yeah. You, you start 50 of them joints. Yeah. Those are easy, yeah, yeah, easy yeah, side yeah, hustles. Yeah. Like easy, small businesses. And if you kept a hubby, you could have been riding his dime the whole time, stacking your money. You need to talk like Shaq or something. They got right. like 57. You, you know, Shaq ain't stops. humping like that ain't no more. But no, what I'm saying is you just it's just the people you're around. It goes to show you only go for, as far as the people you have around your circle. So, I mean, like I said, if you was talking to Ricky Ross on the daily, he'd have told you what to do. And here go the truth about Ross. You played my mans, I bet. He tried to holler at you, and you was like, nah, you fat. I bet you wish you was under them titties now, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you be staying at, at what does he call his place? I think it's called like the Paradise on Earth or something. Yeah, you like be over there on Paradise. Crazy. Yeah, and he's not petty. He'd let he'd have made sure you kept the car. He'd have let you stay in the crib, bro. Yeah, all day. Stay in the East Wing as long as you give them a yacht noodle. So you know what I'm saying. So my thing, you can't bleep it out because it ain't nothing sexual. Ha. <laughs> but um, it is what it is. Oh, that's a bad dress. I ain't gonna hate on it. You know what I'm saying? This is dope right here. That's dope. I ain't hating on. I ain't hating on the artistry of it. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I'm, I'm no prude. Show your butt cheeks. I don't care nothing about that. I ain't nothing about that. My thing is, if you are gonna do it, get paid. What they say? Uh, Amber Rose at the height of her job was getting eight hundred thousand a post. Yeah. She is white, but I mean, your life's getting got blonde hair, so ain't that the same thing? Apparently, it, it's not. <laughs> Wait, go up, and then go up a little bit more where you just was at. Go to the right, right there. <laughs> Look how innocent that is. Right, dang, I'm not doing nothing. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't even know why I'm here right now. Like, I'm just, why are you taking pictures of me? You know my daddy don't like me on your Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do that. Don't do that. And then you with my boy Island Boy. I'm an Island Boy. Oh, oh she went oh. six nine. Oh, you understand the hood is going to give you no props for this. Oh, I thought it was the Island Boys. No, no. Like this. No, you can't. My drip. Uh, uh. Yeah, it's a wrap for you, homegirl. Now ain't no dude going to mess with you because they think you snitching. And this is never a good look when your other demographic is to sell to men. Yeah, we're not trying to see these naked dudes with this manscape. That's not cool. Anyway, I'm going to get on out here. Just dig it down, but I'm never out in, in town. Okay, welcome to the Burning Mouth channel. I suggest that you hit the button, the like button, leave a comment, sub, and make sure you go to the Twitch because we do stream on Twitch. It's going to be way more often pretty soon. And hit the bizzell, okay? On a new regime, Patreon, where you can talk to me directly. If you're not on there, you cannot talk to me. <laughs> For the ones that keep asking. <laughs> For the ones that keep asking. Now, listen, we Audi 5000 don't do drugs. And if you're going to sell your butt, sell your butt. Sell your butt. Wholesale price. <laughs>